Oh, dude, I saw it. Him and N-Word Boy and all them, they're a bunch of posers, dog. That's all they are. They're a bunch of posers. A bunch of wannabe hack jobs. Right, though? And hell, these guys want to get it, man. They can catch my ass on fucking COD Warzone. And I'll give them a little lesson in what it means to be a real badass behind the motherfucking trigger. No problem. Especially with the loadout that I run, bro. It's on. So, long story short, dude, that's when I was a little kid. And that was like a long, 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 long time ago. And ever since then, my dad's had this, just this evil, disdain thing uh, fucking with me about it ever since I was a kid. And that was a long time ago. But anymore, no, I'm not. That was when I was like a real little kid when I was like maybe five or six years old. Well, let's see, the trolls are fucking pissed that me and Johnny caught them trying to set me up, and now they've been targeting Johnny, a.k.a. Tibbs, and trying to fuck his wife up royally, all because me and him caught them trying to set me up and called them out on it, and they don't like that, so now they're going after him fully. Oh, we already know every single troll. Every last one of them. And trust me, I say they're going to get dealt with in the proper manner when the time is right. And they aren't going to like it. Funny thing is, dude, I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to force me back onto YouTube where they can attack me and harass me. They basically don't want me making any kind of money, so they're trying to cut off my access to any other site except YouTube. Because that's where they want me. That's where they make their money. Therefore, they're trying to do whatever they can to forcibly put me back on that platform. And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not going back to that toxic ass place. Let's do it. I'm not disrespecting or, you know, disregarding what you're saying. But honestly, dude, I don't think you understand how good at getting information these guys are. These guys can get information that most people would not have access to. And that's how scary these guys are. And because of their ability to gain access to any kind of information that they want. That's how they ended up getting my friend Brendan fired from his job. How they got my biological sperm donor fired from his job. And like I said, that's what they're banking on. They are literally banking on me getting a job so they can get me fired as well. I'll tell you right now, dude, these guys are so dangerous that it wouldn't matter if I told anybody or not. Like, let's say that, you know, that I didn't say anything to anybody, right? Let's say that I did keep my mouth shut and I didn't tell anybody, right? How long would it be before they got that information? How long would it be before they found out that information? And then once that happens, it's game over, dude. It's all game over. Once they find that information out, trust me, they would find out eventually. They definitely would. Like I said, they did it to my sperm donor and my friend Brendan both. Which is why what I'm doing is out of their sight, I'm building something up for myself to where I will be able to make money. You know, I'm working behind the scenes, like even though I am taking a break from everything, yes, but I'm still working behind the scenes 
to build something up for myself to where I can be successful, to where I can start making money. And yeah, it might not seem money right away, but here's the thing. Nobody ever made a million bucks overnight. No one ever became successful overnight. Being successful takes time. And that's what I'm currently working on. Being successful. The most successful people in the world. And this is a proven fact. The most successful people in the world, nine times out of ten, didn't have a job, didn't work, came from nothing, came from homelessness in some cases. And look where they're at now. Look where those people are at now, making money, doing what they love. I'm going to pull a page out of Andrew Tate's book here. And I know a lot of people hate on him because of different shit. But you have to admit, he is successful for a reason. And there are several things and key things that he has said that are actually true. A successful person that knows that they can be successful and are able to be successful they don't sit around. They don't sit around and, you know, do like the norm does and get a 9 to 5 job. No. They work their ass off on what it is that they want to do with their life. And they make it work every step of the way. Which is exactly what I'm doing. And I have no plans to slow down. And fuck. And hell, fuck hundreds of thousands of dollars. Would you want to work a regular job? Or would you want to get out there and bust your ass for your dream? And make your dream successful. And take that dream and run with it. And turn your dream into a reality. Turn your dream into a job. Turn your dream into a career. I don't know about you, but that's what I'm doing. I'm out here busting my ass every day, working on turning my dreams into a career. And I understand that a lot of people say that it'll never happen, but here's the difference between me and them. I don't know the words quit. The words quitting and giving up are not in my vocabulary, and they never will be.